Hi, welcome to Waking the Witch Within Summit. My name is Chris Ann Jackson. I am the owner of The Healing Tree, a holistic spa. And today we're gonna talk about the magic of astrology. Did you know that uh, your birth sign is so much more? It is the blueprint of who you are and who you are destined to be. So here's what you need to know about astrology and how it can unlock the magic within you. Thousands of years ago, ancient civilizations turned to the stars to gather and study information. Astrologers became to realize that humans born on a particular year, day, time, when the sun and the moon and the planets were in a certain alignment, they started to realize that they had a lot in common they shared the same feelings, similar interests, thence become what we know today as the horoscope. Preparing your chart actually is such a little bit of a lengthy process, but it is well worth it. Your birth chart is actually composed of 12 houses. They're divided into four groups. Three of the same sun sign are assigned to these groups. For example, you have fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Aquarius, um, and Aries, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. You have earth signs, Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. You have air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Now within your chart, there are also 10 planets. Now these 10 planets, um, are certain aspects of your personality. So we have, say, the sun planet. That's yourself. Um, the moon is your expression. Venus is how you would, um, feelings of love or how you accept love into your life or how you love others. Then you have Mars, which is that action. It's vitality. It's that chi source. You have Mercury. It's your intellect. It's communication. You have Pluto, which is your inner drive. Um, you have Jupiter, which is luck. Neptune is that subconscious aspect of ourselves. It's the psychic awareness. It's dreams. Saturn is um, structure. It's lessons. It's authority figures. Um, Uranus is individuality. Then we have another major component to your um, astrological chart and this would be the ascendant sign or your rising sign so when you are born there's the day the time the year and that time when you were born is where your ascendant sign lies and it's in that exact moment and when you arrive on the planet so sun sign describes your individuality, right? Your rising sign or your, or your ascendant sign is your personality. It's your physical appearance and it's really how you show up here on this planet every day in life. So for example, if you have a fire ascendant, you're gonna be like vivacious, you know, full of energy, fire. Um, ready for the adventure, positive, optimistic. If you are a water sign, you're full of emotion, you um, are sensitive being. If you are a earth sign, you're very um, slow, methodical, all about the details. And air signs are usually all over the map. They're very um, spontaneous. They don't like to have routine. So it really is necessary if possible to have your specific time that you were born because that really nails your exact ascendant sign but not to worry because there's ways around that but it just won't be as precise so in reality we can have two people born on the same day maybe different times but they'll they will uh own like a totally different personality so it's interesting so when you're looking into your chart 
you can um, indicate areas in your life where you uh, might have blocks to overcome. You might find ways that um, you're lucky in life um, or things that you might need to focus on either your personal relationships, career, or just in general. The possibilities are really endless to reveal the magic inside of you. And as I mentioned before, there are 12 houses in your chart as well. So the first house brings up that sense of self. It's the um, physical being, the temperament, it's your thoughts. The second house is all about money. It's, um, you know, possessions. It's your resources. It's your relationship to money. You have the third house, which is communication. It's all about uh, intellect. It's um, also the house of uh, siblings, the relationship with siblings. Your fourth house is uh, childhood, early childhood. It's also how you relate to your mother. It's um, things that are kept hidden. Your fifth house is pleasure, love, creativity. Um, then you have your sixth house, which is uh, systems and orders, and it's health and hygiene. Seventh house is transformation. It's a house of death. It's a house of rebirth. It's uh, sexual pleasures. It's um, legacies. It's strong feelings, things that are also kept hidden. You have... Um, I miss partnerships, the seventh house. Sorry about that. So it's partnerships. The seventh house is partnerships and marriage and close friends and business partnerships and also enemies. Then the eighth house is trans house of transformation. Then you have the ninth house, which is like long journeys. It's higher education. It's prophecies, philosophy. The 10th house is all about your status, um, your drive, things, uh, you know, political matters. It's um, the relationship with father, it's humanitarian. Then you have the 11th house, which is humanitarian. It's uh, ideals, it's connections, it's um, casual friendships with people who support you in your common goals. Then you have the 12th house, which is uh, the occult. It's your psychic awareness. It's unconscious, that unconscious aspects of yourself. And um, it all comes together. There's just so many layers when you're looking at a birth chart. Um, you know, so literally, it's, it's, it is an information that's provided to you that's a, the synthesis of your personality. It's your strengths. It's your weaknesses. It's those relationships with family and friends. It's these bonds. It's emotional connections. It's career, sex, money, love. You name it. Um, it's already there to be discovered and unveiled for you to manifest in this magical journey. So, uh, it's time to, you know, dive deeper into something like this. And if you're interested, uh, you know, I would love to share more with you. So, but for now, I just want to say thank you so much for the time that you've tuned into this amazing retreat. To learn more about your astrology, tune into your natural magic. Don't forget to uh, grab that freebie. And you'll find on my speaker page. And you'll be getting an email with more information. But, but grab it now while you still can on my speaker page just by clicking the link. So I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit on astrology. And I hope you have a magical day.